What's going on? Gabe Basham Outdoors here. Me and my little brother Mike are hitting up a pond, guys. If you haven't seen a lot of fishing content lately, we've been so busy. The heat in this Texas weather sucks. Uh, I've been gotten some stuff going on with the boat. I've been, uh, I'm about to install a live scope on the boat and get all that set up. I had to get my electronics all squared up and ready to go. I was having some issues there, but now we're ready to rock. And today we are fishing for bass with squids. We're fishing for bass with squid. Stay tuned for the video. All out hook and cuddle squid, June bug. I'm trying to make this thing give us some, give us some work here. Right off that concrete wall right there, we might be able to get one right off the edge of this canal on that concrete wall. Let's see if we can pull one out of there. I know, look at those concrete pillars. That's how low it is. We don't really fish ponds too much anymore anyways. We usually be fishing lakes like Rayburn and stuff now, but it is. So it kind of sucks that it wasn't taken care of. Might be a bass sitting in this little pool right here. That wouldn't be surprising. How you doing, man? Good. Michael, this, this is low. Like the water, guys, is like super low. That summertime, we've been in a drought up here, dude down here we in a drought ain't had no freaking rain besides last night it rained a little bit for like an hour but guys look at those pillars <laughs> the water lines usually get that black mark so it's about two foot down in this pond or more two and a half foot so i'm very curious to see where these fish are going to be sitting in this pond bends that the water's so low I feel like under this bridge was one of the more uh, deeper spots. So I'm, I'm thinking there might be some sitting up over here. Maybe, maybe not. Oh, that point right there maybe. You got backlash? I'm gonna work that right by that pillar. There was a whole bunch of uh, moss and algae in, in here, and I guess they cleaned, they finally cleaned it out because it was really grassy, really bad. But now there's like none at all. So used to, I'd be able to target where the fish were sitting because they'd be sitting on that grass and that moss and all that gunk. And I'd target the edge of that grass and, and, gr and gunk sitting on top of the water, and that's where they'd be. Oh, yeah. Fish on, fish on, baby. Fish on. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yes sir. Right there, first fish of the day. So I guess to answer the question, do bass eat squids? The answer to that would be, they do. They do eat squids. So first fish of the day right here, we're gonna get him unhooked and I'm gonna take a picture of the cuddle squid in his mouth and then we're gonna get on to the next fish and if we throw them in the same spot it's definitely 
likely we'll catch another in the same spot. Let's not let our reel in. So that's fish number one right there. Let's get him back in. He swam back off into the abyss. All right, we just got that fish back in the water. We're gonna cast kind of out in the same vicinity and see if there's any more fish staged in the same area. Oh, I thought I had another one. Oh, it looks like I did have something. Look at that. Oh, it tore my, uh, tore my cuddle squid right up. Tore it up. Look at that. Oh, we're going to throw a different cuddle squid on real quick. Let's check out one of these other colors and put something else on. Guys, I, all out hooking sent me a bunch of different colors. I've got the fourth night, which is the 4th of July, red, white, and blue with like the black. The June bugs, I just caught one on. They have these clear blue sparkle ones. And I've also got some uh, watermelon candy ones. Those look pretty juicy. I think because this pond is slightly stained, I am going to try the black with the uh, red, white, and blue flake. And let's see how this does. All right, guys. So we've got this red, white, and blue speckled black cuddle squid from all out hooking tied up let's throw that one out there and see if we can't get a bite on this i just heard a fish right over there and he came up and splashed right there off the bank and let's see if we can't pull him off over there it's on this one in this area i might flip uh to that green uh watermelon candy color and that might be able to do it because we have a little bit of visibility it's not terrible it's not super stained so we might need not need me to be throwing something so dark. But I have a good feeling about this. I was throwing the June bug before. And it, it got us a bite, so. Ooh, I just felt something. Ooh. Nope. Nope, nope. Keep picking up a lot of a lot of gunk here. So pull that off. I'm gonna move this stopper down just a little bit right there. Maybe that'll help us out a little bit. I'm gonna move down a little bit and see if we can't catch one a little bit further down. Even though I caught that one right over here, we might be able to catch one a little bit further down. Because this actually seems to have a pretty decent little drop off right here. So if we throw right off that edge right there, could definitely be some bass sitting right about midway when we work it back working it up this little drop off up to the bank because it looks like it cuts off pretty quick i guess because that's where they build the the bridge there's a pretty good little drop off into this channel that goes underneath these bridges so i think that's why i consistently catch those fish right here on either side of this channel because they're hanging on to these edges these hard drop offs well it's not really a hard drop off but for for a pond like this it is especially where everything kind of slopes off really hard or slopes off real subtly and this one has much more of a drop off to it so they could be clinging to this they could be clinging to the uh to that concrete wall over there i've never caught one off that concrete wall though so i don't know i've thrown at it a couple times i might work it horizontal to that concrete line here in a minute or parallel to it You know, it, that, those white colored shad and shiners. Whereas a lot of other ponds, um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw right out here in the middle and work straight across. I have a good feeling there's a fish sitting right where I'm at. And if not, we're gonna keep working. Cause there, there's actually another channel. Let's 
that runs into this little body of water right here. So we might go fish that other channel right there since they're staging up on these channels to the main pools and see if we can't catch one or two over there. Oh, that was a fish. That was a fish. That was a freaking fish. Oh, big one. Oh, it's pulling drag. Oh, awesome fight. Oh, that's a, oh my gosh. Yo, that's a good one. Yo, for, for Hackberry, this is awesome. Yo, it was pulling drag, bro. Yo, oh my gosh. This is the biggest fish I've caught in Hackberry. Oh, oh my gosh. Michael, we should have brought a freaking scale. You were right. We should have brought a scale. No. Guys, that's a good fish. Oh my gosh. Michael, take a picture, bro. I freaking told you we should have brought the scale. Oh. Bro, but we never catch ones like this in here. Golly. Yo, grab my phone in my pocket. A nice, easy release on it. Absolute beautiful fish. I knew I saw a big fish kicking off right there and it hit right where I said. He just swimmed off right there. I just watched him swim. So he made it. He's good. Give me some, bro. Let's go. That was a good fish, bro. What did I say? I said right here. I saw him throw right there. You said, oh, that's a fish. Oh, that's a gardener fish. Oh, that's a fish. Dude. Yeah, yeah, it would, dude, it was playing with it at the bottom, though. He was playing with it. He kept, because he hit it hard. He went wham. And that's why I know they're chasing freaking Chad right now. He hit that thing like a freight train. Boom. And then I, I missed him, because as soon as I went to reel and set the hook, he let go of it. He hit it hard and then stopped. And then that's when I stopped my rod, and I gave a couple little tiny pops, and I felt him grab it, and I made sure he had it, and then I freaking set it. You went, you went, you went. And you you heard you saw him pulling my drag? Oh my Yo. God. That was That's probably the biggest fish I've caught in this pond. That was a good fish. Yo, that was about the size of the fish I catch over there in uh Jeans Power Sports. Yeah. <laughs> that was good. That was fun. That was a good fish. That's bigger than some of the fish you catch at Rayburn. That's bigger than a lot of fish I catch at Rayburn. But the thing is, at Rayburn, we know there's giants. Okay. We know there's giants at Rayburn. Huh? Said you yeah, I caught that 11.2 pounder over there. That was a monster. Shoot, that 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 uh, 11 pounder I caught yeah. could have ate the fish I just caught. <laughs> oh, dude, I just saw a blow up right there. I just saw a blow up right there. The, these bass are getting they getting hungry, bro. We're gonna throw on another cuddle squid. We're gonna throw on another cuddle squid, guys. They are munching on these cuddle squids all out hooking. Go give them a try. They are awesome. So we've caught one on the June bug and we've caught one on the red, white, and blue. Let's let's try this. We're gonna try the watermelon candy and see if we can't catch one on this. The water clarity might be good and might not be too dingy to catch one on this. So we're gonna throw the watermelon candy and see if we can't pull a bite on the watermelon candy. Dude, that was freaking awesome, dude. That'll put up a good fight too. Good fight. I'm glad they cleaned out this freaking water, dude. Yeah, I'm ready to get on the boat and set up live scope and go out there and freaking swanch some biggins. Put it in here. Look, look at all the fish you got. Put the, put the bass boat in the pond. Dude, imagine. Bro, look at all the fish we got. You know, honestly, I could take the prawn prowler, put live put the live scope on the prawn prowler, <laughs> and then come out here with live scope on the prawn prowler and uh, see if we can catch some. That'd be freaking hilarious, dude. We'd probably destroy them. We'd freaking destroy them. But it's so low right now, it'd probably be tough on the palm prowler. Especially with live scope, there's probably not enough depth. And remember, Yeah, that'd be dope though. All right, guys. We have now got on the watermelon candy. I'm gonna throw this on and see if we can catch one on the watermelon candy now. So glad I didn't leave this spot and cast it over there. Now we're going to throw that watermelon candy in there. Guys, and the cool part is, not only am I testing the different colors of the cuddle squids, I'm also changing the presentation. I'm changing the colors. So who knows? These fish might see their buddy get caught on the black one, and then the green one comes in. They're like, oh, that one's good. <laughs> so, oh, bro, I think I just got hit. Yeah, dude. Oh, I think I got hit a second ago. Oh, that was a hit. That was a definite hit. Fish on. Fish on. Fish on, dude. Oh, another decent one. 
another decent one. Another decent one. This one isn't as big as the last one, but guy, I should have brought my scale like Michael said, because that is a good fish. That's a two pounder right there, hands down. Two pounder right there. That's a beautiful fish. Two pounder, absolute craziness. Cuddle squids, guys, they are, look at them devouring these cuddle squids deep in the throat. Absolute donkeys. This guy's mouth is actually kind of small for uh. That might be a small mouth. Guy. Nah, he ain't a small mouth, but his his mouth is kind of small. Maybe he's a different strand. But guys, fish number three. Fish number three on the cuddle squid. All different colors. Switch to the watermelon candy. First cast with the watermelon candy. This fish freaking ate it. Yeah, let's roll, guys. You know, okay, so when I say, when you catch a fish in one spot, kind of see if there's more, this is why. All of these fish were in the exact same area. If I'd have walked off, it might not have been good. But because I stayed, I was able to get another. Now this hook is deep in there. So we're gonna, we're about to have to, ooh. Oh, come on fish, I almost had you, bro. Now it's gonna be difficult, come here. We're gonna try to help this guy out because that thing's deep and I don't have my pliers on me. I do not have my pliers on me. So let's see if we can get this out without hurting him too much. He's bleeding a little bit, we got him. Let's get him in. Oh. Whew, guys, that was tough, but we got him. He swam off. I was able to barely get it out. I, I was able to finagle my fingers in there a certain way where I could really get into there and we got him. Give me some. I couldn't get I could I can't get my fingers in there. My fingers, I don't Dude, know look, how. His teeth got me right here. Yo. That that fish got me, but I feel good that we got him back in there. I wasn't gonna give up on him. I was gonna go until I got it out. I wasn't gonna give up. Probably my last cast right here. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna retrieve it a little bit different. I'm gonna add oh last cast. Yo, I just got hit. Oh he let go. Oh, that was a hit. That was a freaking hit, dude. Oh, he let go. No, he didn't. He was swimming with it. Yes, baby. Yes. See, I thought he let go. He was swimming with it. He didn't let go. That is fish number four. I threw him over there. Let's see if we can catch one more. <laughs> 